welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today. We're in chapter 18, verse 21 to 27. Uh, Moses has been judging the people and they're standing around all day long and things are going weird. It's not going well. It'll wear everybody out. Let's see what happens. Verse 21 to 27. Furthermore, you shall select out of all the people able men who fear God, men of truth, those who hate dishonest gain, and you shall place these over them as leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. Let them judge the people at all times, and let it be that every major dispute they will bring to you, but every minor dispute they themselves will judge. So it will, it will be easier for you, and they will bear the burden with you. If you do this thing, and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure in all these people also will go to their place in peace. So Moses listened to his father-in-law and did all that he had said. Moses chose able men out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. They judged the people at all times and the difficult dispute they would bring to Moses, but every minor dispute they themselves would judge. Then Moses bade his father-in-law farewell and he went his way into his own land. I want you to notice that the character of the people that were to be chosen was very marked out. It was very definite. These are to be people who uh, fear God, people who love truth, people who are not bribable. <laughs> These are to be people who uh, are, are the right stuff. They're out of the people. They're selected from among the people. So we're looking for people in the group who have these special all people in the group should have these moral qualities, but those chosen to be leaders certainly should, should be uh, at the highest levels of this. And so we choose people. And we want people who are capable, but it's more important the moral qualities. It doesn't say pick all the guys that have business degrees. Pick all the guys that are really good at math. Pick all the guys that have experience managing people. He doesn't say that. He says pick people who are moral people. Pick people who have principle, people who are honest, and things are going to go differently than if you just pick based on capability, right? So he's picking people based on moral excellence, and that is not changed through all these years. So these people are to do most all the judging, Je Jethro suggests. Uh, they'll bring the big matters to you, but let them deal with all the lesser matters. This is a good plan, this, this will work. And uh, notice in verse 23, if you do this thing and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure and these people will go to their place in peace. So losing Moses uh, in the minutia of leadership, uh, having him micromanage everything, no, that's not the plan, that's not the path. The path is delegate, have everybody pull some of their own weight and this people will go to their place in peace. He's, Jethro's telling Moses, think about this, see if this sounds like godly counsel to you and you might want to go ahead and go this way. So uh, then we have this uh, organization plan, um, thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. There's leaders over each of these subgroups. I don't know if that means they were exactly hundreds and exactly fifties and exactly tens, but anyway, organizing into different groups, different levels of groupings and having people organized over it. So we're gonna put the whole congregation online here. They're gonna all pull their own weight and that's a pretty good plan. Have everybody take part. Remember, we have a mixed multitude in here along with the congregation. So some of these people need to come up to the line. And so this is a plan to get the people where they need to be. So we'll see if that doesn't, uh, that should work out well. And uh, Moses, Moses is going to take this counsel and try it out. All right, see you tomorrow morning.